In the slaughterhouse, the man raised his butcher knife and dismembered a young man. A piece of chopped meat splashed into the mouth of the pet dog, which ate it and whacked its ears happily. Seeing the dog so happy, the man realized that the flavor of the meat might not be quite ordinary. Where did this human meat come from? A little earlier in the day, the couple's car hit a young man. They got out of the car to check it out, and the dead man turned out to be the vegetarian who had smashed up their butcher store a couple of days before. Since they had no love for the dead man and to let themselves out of the guilt, the husband decided to take the body back to his slaughterhouse, cut it up, and throw it away in batches. However, the wife mistakenly sold the pieces of human flesh as Iranian pork, and customers raved about the flavor of the new pork, which saved the butcher store's dismal business. The couple was pleasantly surprised, realizing that vegan meat was particularly tasty. They turned the leftovers into ham or sausage, and soon the uranium pork was sold out. Looking for new stock, the couple scouted around for their next target. After some research, they decided also to pretend to be vegetarians and join the vegans in attacking other large meat processing plants to gain their trust. But such attacks made the wife feel guilty about the other butcher store owners. The wife argued with her husband, who left in anger. The waiter at the restaurant, however, took the opportunity to pick up the wife, sent her home, and even kissed her, but accidentally got his tongue bitten. The wife, upon learning that the waiter was a vegetarian, took the initiative to invite him in for a rest and gave him a massage. After relaxing his whole body and making the meat tasty, the long-awaited husband finished him off and made him a delicious Iranian pork. The Iranian pork was a great hit on the shelves again and inspired the couple to continue hunting for vegetarians. Not only did their business thrive, but their relationship also had a second lease on life. However, as expected, the unexpected happened. One day, while serving the special meat to their guests, they found a hard pacemaker in the port, which immediately aroused their suspicion. Meanwhile, the disappearance of more and more people in the town led to more and more frequent investigations by the police. One time when the police were questioning the husband, even their dog was standing behind them with a freshly cut hand in its mouth. The husband endeavored to prevaricate and cover up so that the deed was not exposed. Under multiple pressures, the couple finally decided to retire from selling the so-called Iranian pork. Meanwhile, the vegetarians discovered that their old buddies were actually the owners of the butcher store. Feeling fooled, they stormed the butcher's store, vandalized it, and kidnapped the wife. The husband went to the rescue alone, and after a fierce fight, finally rescued her. This case also revealed the other side of the couple's true identity. And so, after slaughtering and cooking a large portion of the town's vegan population, the gluttonous serial cannibal couple was caught. The story also ended with a dark sense of humor.